Hello guys, are you finding it difficult when it comes to receiving payments in crypto or do you wish to create an invoice whereby you can actually receive crypto? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do all of that using CPay. CPay is actually a crypto merchant and a payment system whereby you can actually go ahead and create invoice, send crypto, receive crypto from your clients. So, Basically, you can actually use CPA for your personal use as a freelancer or actually use CPA for business purposes. Okay, so now let's dive into the video basically so I can show you all these things and show you how to go ahead and make use of CPA. Okay, so welcome back. So as you can see right here on my screen, I'm on CPA website as you can see. On the website it says easy way to receive cryptocurrency from your clients. Like I said, making use of CPA is going to be a lot more easy when it comes to receiving cryptocurrency or when it comes to receiving payment in cryptocurrency from your clients. Okay, so as you can see right here on the website, you have two options basically. You can either choose the personal account or the business account. So if you scroll down, uh, you scroll down, basically I'm using a personal account. So if you scroll down, you're going to notice that the transaction fee is very low, as low as 0 to 1%. And if you scroll down, you notice that with CPA, you can actually view the current price of various cryptocurrency that are actually listed on the platform for you to be able to receive. Um, so if you scroll down, you notice that these are coming soon. These are... Um, these are uh, basically new cryptocurrencies that are coming in that they'll be adding um, to the platform and if you scroll down you notice that on the platform they are start actually showing you the number of um, crypto owners in a particular location and um, if you scroll down you notice that you can actually connect to existing wallet or create a new wallet okay so yeah so it's really amazing with CPA you can actually go you can actually use CPA as a wallet you can use CPA as a merchant you can use CPA to view rates current prices of various cryptocurrencies mobile apps and um, redraw back to your account how does it work you can actually create an invoice receive cryptocurrency to your address and actually you can also send cryptocurrency from your address to another from from CPA to another address and you can view the rates you can withdraw you can just start access and a lot of things okay so yeah that's really it so yeah if you're actually a developer and you want to go ahead and uh, integrate CPA um, on your client's website it's very easy i'm going to paste the documentation link link to documentation basically in my description below so you can go out and go there and then implement it basically so CPA uh, is actually a new platform and yeah CPA actually sponsored today's video Thanks to CPA for actually sponsoring today's video. So basically, I will just go ahead and log in into my account by clicking on this login section. So once I click on this login section, I'll be able to log in into my account. So I'll just, my details is there already. So I'll just click on login. And um, this should take me directly into my account. So as you can see, I'm into my account. As you can see, yeah, they keep on updating um, the, uh, as you can see, CPA keeps updating their system. As like I said, CPA is actually a new platform. Yeah, it's recently launched and they are here to stay okay so as you can see what's new added sending hooks and lots more you can see you can go ahead and read all these things when you sign up so yeah as you can see right here this is what the dashboard looks like on the dashboard you'll be able to see all cryptocurrencies and you'll see their balance as you can see right now i have zero 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 and this is where you're going to see transactions and network you can filter the network by clicking the minutes the minute section is where you're going to be receiving cryptocurrency the test Test net is just actually test version where you can test the uh, your wallet basically. And um, as you can see, I'm using this is my merchant. This place where you see Geeknet is actually my merchant. I created a merchant account, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a few minutes. So if you click on this wallet section, you are going to see your address, your address for different wallets basically. As you can see, your address for different wallets, and you can go ahead and create a new wallet. You can either create a new wallet for a particular token, and um, you can go ahead and add existing wallet so if you click on the checkout the checkout section you'll be able to uh, basically the checkout section is where you can go ahead and create invoice as you can see these are invoice i've created this is a sample invoice i created so i'm going to show you how it looks like so i copied the invoice link for buy gushi so basically this is just a sample um this is a sampling on how the pay how the uh, invoice actually looks like when you're actually trying to buy 
particular product so as you can see time, time is up so it means i have to go ahead and um create a new okay so yeah so as you can see okay yeah so this is i tried again so now it's showing i have to pay hundred dollars for for the gucci then i can pay with various cryptocurrencies as you can see these are the cryptocurrencies i can go ahead and pay with then if i want to pay with uct crc20 uh, i can go ahead and pay, pay, pay with it then i cannot go ahead and scan the code if i'm actually using binance as you can see right here i have my phone here i can just go ahead and scan the code and boom i'm going to pay instantly i don't have to um, start copying the address if i want to copy the address i can also do that this is very very easy when it comes to implementing it on your site and yeah as you can see i can also donate you can also create a donation link so i will copy the donation link and show you on my browser so you see what it actually looks like so yeah this is what it actually looks like guys um as you can see so it's for the donation page is just like you want to donate money to me you give them a description you give them a title and they can actually go ahead and pay the money as you can see they can send you any amount they want to yeah very easy by the um the shopping section as so as you can see if you click on create a checkout create checkout you're going to see accept donation or sell a product so once you click on sell the products you'll be able to impute the name you can add a picture you can add expiry time and create that's what i actually did right here for buy gushi and um when it comes to creating the, the donation sorry when it comes to uh, uh creating the donation i just put the organization name description and the picture and time and create <coughs> oh, sorry about that. so yeah so that's just it then if you click on withdraw this withdraw has to do with once you have any cryptocurrency basically in your account you'll be able to withdraw it to be available right here to be available here on the list um, of um of as you can see all available we show here all available currencies we show up here and you can go ahead and withdraw it directly to your bank account or oh, sorry not bank account basically to your wallet or your bank account so if you click on the settings icon here on the settings icon you can go ahead and select currencies that you want to show like as you can see right here i actually selected tron and of course i want to be i want to be able to receive, receive tron so i selected tron and if you want binance you can select binance also you can select tron you can select any amount so they're going to be listing more um, cryptocurrencies basically as soon as they list more cryptocurrencies it will be available here on the payment method and you see on, if you see the minor fee make sure you set your minor fee to 0 0.5 that's the minimum uh, minimum fee you're going to be paying for every transaction basically okay and on this merchant data this is where you're going to put your merchant details basically you put in the merchant name and every single thing about it then you submit okay so that that's pretty much it with cp as you can see cp is actually a still a new platform and it's amazing imagine you just have to create an invoice and you send it to your clients and they pay they, they pay you through that invoice it's pretty easy as that you don't need to send them um your you don't need to send them a, a link you don't need to send them maybe you don't send your uh, address it's very when you when you send them your address is very lengthy it's very lengthy so using creating an invoice and sending it to them is preferable to get you get to keep um detail, you get to keep transaction details from your client's history so if your client actually pay you you're going to have a transaction history with uh, for the client so yeah and one pretty thing amazing thing about this platform is um you can actually sign up and sign up without verification you don't have to verify your account you can sign up and boom you can start enjoying all these features with cp okay so that's that's it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check the link in my description below to go ahead and access cp yeah it's very easy and i love cp like i said it's actually new and trust me you're going to enjoy most of the features they're going to bring in in coming um months and yeah from now so that's just guys for this video thanks for watching guys and see you guys in a video like this